Hi there, today you are going to join me at Goodwill. This first clip is just a short little snippet of three perfume bottles that I got at the Royerstown Goodwill. And I'm just showing them off, that's all I got. And I'm gonna hold on to them for a future perfume sale. How annoying. <laughs> and now you are going to join us at Goodwill in Ephrata. Jimmy is joining me. The bracelets today are brought to you by myself and myself. They're both mine. This stripy one is Bakelite. Isn't it fabulous? I love them both. These hand dishes both had wear to them, and so I decided not to get them. There's Jimmy. And I kind of thought about getting this one, but there were cracks and wear, and see the finger there? The, I think I'm going to point it out. There was just something with the thumb. I, w I wasn't quite sure. So when I'm not quite sure, I'd rather just walk away. And so I walked away. Jimmy's pointing that giant vase out to us. But it was more contemporary with that sticker. I had recently sold a elephant Otagiri musical thing. This was $16. And that is why I did not get it. Because I thought it was a little bit too high for resale. I would have sold it for $16. This is my favorite aisle. We were meeting Mike up in Adamstown, so we were kind of on a time crunch here. So I was just kind of going to my favorite places in the Ephrata Goodwill. And this area is where they keep all the figurines and all the little doodahs. So I am quickly going here. This is a little trinket dish. It has crackle glaze. These are usually marked with a sticker made in the USA. And I do like to pick them up because they are sweet little trinkets. And he, these, I do pick these up from time to time if I really like the sayings on them. They are kind of a tricky thing to ship because they are glass, but the smaller ones are easier to, to pack than the larger ones. I was asking Jimmy, who's this? He's like, I'm not quite sure. Obviously a promo uh, sponsored by Taco Bell, a hockey player. That's all I would know about that. And then here we are getting to, oh, look, that hockey player had an accident. This horse's head has actually already sold. I had listed it on eBay and it recently sold to a uh, repeat buyer for, of mine. So I really appreciate the repeat business. Sometimes if I'm really organized, I will uh, list things on eBay before the video comes out. This was a bag of at least two Boyd's Bear figurines. There is a third one in there that has, was rabbits. It was blue painted on the bottom and is not marked Boyd's. It has a very distinctive Boyd's look, but it also has broken pieces. So I, you will only see two of the figurines at the end of this video. This is also currently already listed on eBay. This is a Raku Studio Art Pottery piece that was marked 2011 with the initials so I got that I also thought that this was amazing <laughs> you will see how it looks at the end of the video it's all straightened out and looks really really nice I am keeping the little uh, lazy Susan that it goes on because it's perfect for little small things uh, for me to use in a video I think this is fabulous and wait till you see at the end of the video how nice it looks when it's straightened up and I am uh, I think showing this again to Jimmy I like to pick up Raku pieces and I thought that was very nice. These two were taped together. I believe the bird is Princess House Crystal and then the other is a Bunny Rabbit votive holder. And both of those will be up for sale on my Sat no, no, tomorrow, Tuesday, whatnot sale. I usually have whatnot sales on Tuesdays and Fridays and this week I'm doing it Tuesday and Saturday. But the the, the animals will definitely be for sale tomorrow, Tuesday. It's going to be all critters. I can't wait. I love selling little animals. I was checking out more of the bags because um, so far the bags have been pretty good. Uh, it didn't look like there was anything too exciting for me to purchase. A lot of seashells and things like that. And I already have a ton of seashells. I do use seashells in my resin, uh, but I don't need any more because I have a lot. Here is a close-up look of a whole bunch of angels. And then above them were some other little figurines, giraffes, seashell or a coconut thing from Key West, an owl votive holder. That was, a, I feel, a more contemporary piece. Or maybe it was a candlestick holder. Did I say votive holder? I, I bet that was a candle holder. Two little puppy dogs on top of each other and then this mid-century modern style cat. This is very popular on Whatnot and so I definitely picked that up. Hobbyist pieces are amazing. This was selling for $1.50 at another store, and it was $3.99 at Goodwill. Very, very glossy. Here was another bag. Um, that one that's close to my thumb might be a Boyd's Bear, and there were some other bears in here. 
looking to see if any stife bears got snuck in there. I didn't see any of the stife ear tags. So I left that there. And there was also this really cool hobbyist piece. Very, very large deer. That would have been that would have made a nice Christmas decoration. And that menorah was kind of um not very well made. I was talking to Jimmy and telling him I've sold those before. I, I like them because it looks like a chocolate covered it's like a chocolate covered bunny here i am making sure that i really don't want to get the bag of bears and then i decide no I, i'm not going to get the bag of bears and we're going to make our way onto the other side this is more arts and crafts but sometimes things might be stuck in there someone might have changed their mind and you never know there was this little bear i think it held your glasses or something its tummy had a kind of a door it looked like a door so maybe it did something else at one time pretty cute little knitting needles with the dogs on the ends and is there anything I don't think there's anything from this area but it's always fun that I pick up but it's always fun to look and see there are a whole bunch of stamps there if you do stamps sorry if I swung that around too fast the music was pretty loud at this store, so that is why you are hearing this voiceover. This is going to wrap up our trip here to Goodwill. I am going to share some of my resin demolding with you and uh, show you what I got at the end of the video here at the Goodwill. Later. Here are some bracelets that I have recently made, and they are thermal changing. So you can see that this one looks orange and blue. Let's see if I can, oh, can't balance. Let's see, we'll go down this way and you shine a light on it and it turns a yellow purple color this purple one becomes a pink color even though it looks blue on camera orange and purple becomes yellow the blue I think that one stays blue the green glows this is purple and green and the green really glows Let's see this one up here. Purple and orange becomes a yellow and a pink. The blue stays blue. These I have not put in this little oven that I have because I ran out of room. I made a mold of two vintage bracelets. This is the first one that this is this mold and this is that mold. And this is the first time I've made them. I'm hoping they turn out. This is going to be a cute little critter. This is a bangle I just made. Those are, can you guess what they are before I show you? It's a candy, not real candy. This is going to be a two-step process. I made blue on the outside. And then I'm going to take these out. And then that leaves a gap. And I am going to put something inside that area there. It's a little window, that's what they call it, little windows. This also has critters in it. I don't think you can really tell what's in that one. I'll show you that. And then I made some fish. I'm gonna demold them off camera and then I'll show you how they turned out. This was cats, the, these are cats. <laughs> They did lean to one side. I thought I was getting them in the middle. So they did sink. I haven't perfected getting them in the middle. And there's some bubbles in there, but this was the first time I've used these. Still cute, even with the bubbles. Looks like they're swimming. <laughs> and here was the candy. They were gummy bears. If you guessed bunny, bunny bears, <laughs> gummy bears, you were right. This one is a clear one and you can't even see, you can't even see it. And then this one over here is light pink and it got really light in, no wait, let's see. This was the light one, light pink one. And then um, this one, there's one right here and it's white, it's a ghost. <laughs> it's a mirage of a jelly bear. I have a gummy bear, why do I keep saying the wrong word? Uh, this was also an idea just to see how it turned out. I kind of like it. Let's do the fish and then we'll do these bangles. Here are the fish. It's uh, green with blue. And then this one was black with a little bit of green in it. 
can kind of see it. And then this was black. Okie dokie. This was the original and I really liked how it was thick and weird, weirdly shaped. And I made a mold of it and this is how it turned out. This is the first time I filled up the mold so I didn't know how high to fill it up. And you can see there's a big gap here. I don't like how there are bubbles halfway up. And I even waited and I used my bubble machine and um, it's clear, beautiful clear, and then it goes to bubbly. I'm still perfecting this. I've only made, well, this is my second round of bangles. And then, so they're not perfect. You can see the bubbles there. This is the other bangle I got. And this is how it turned out. Again, I wasn't sure how high to fill up the mold and there's big areas that the mold, the resin could have gone higher. However, I'll give myself grace because this was the first time using that mold. It doesn't have, it, the bubbles don't seem to be as well, no, they're still there. They're kind of, they're clear and then it goes, it gets bubbly on the top. I don't know if I should cut this out more so I can see where I'm going because I was pouring mostly in here and in here and then I was afraid to fill it up higher that it would overfill. It's a learning process. I, it would be neat if I you know, hit a, hit a home run right out of the park the first time trying them. I do think they did turn out neat. I think I can clean them up a little bit, do some doming on the top with these ridges. That's what I have had to do with these. Even though I fill them up to the top, they always kind of sink down and I add uh, some UV resin to the tops and then I take a kind of a knife and then smooth them out so they are all smooth and not rough to the touch. Okay, I cut the openings to the bangles bigger. Maybe that will let more air bubbles come out. And then I put secret stuff in the little opening there. What do you think it is? It's something sweet. I'm annoying by talking like this. <laughs> okay, I feel better about those. And then I used leftover to make these fish. This one's not full, uh, but I will still cook it in the little oven anyway and then finish it off when I get up more resin. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I feel better about making the, the opening bigger. I, that was it was easier to pour and I knew when to stop and I'm looking forward to it I use the leftover to make a fish and then this is not quite full but I will still cook it in the little oven anyway and add more resin when I get to it okay this will be ready in three hours but for you it's gonna be a matter of seconds okay the purple one is the second one I made the blue one was the first one I did fill this in a little bit with UV resin so it's not as bad. There's a drip there that I need to fix. Uh, this one I haven't even touched up at all. Just smoothed out the edges. So th that was a good idea about making the hole bigger. Um, the, let's see, where, oh, where, here it is. This is the one with the lollipops. It's a little window. That was the candy that I said there's something sweet in it. and that sweet? Uh, that turned out good. That was the first time I've made one of those. And then the green one and the blue one. This was the first one. This is the second one. This one has not been touched up. This one I did touch up with UV resin. Uh, so it, it, it did, of course, like I said, work out that made the hole bigger for the mold, which makes sense because the molds that I use, they are open a lot at the top. Hope you enjoyed this uh, demolding process. As promised, here is everything that I picked up at the recent trip to Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, I like to share my shopping adventures, family adventures, and also my resin art with you. If you are not all, uh, subscribed to my channel, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And then if you hit the bell notification button, you will know when I drop videos, which is at least three times a week. I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I'll see ya.